Welcome back into the Rowdy Studio. I'm Stephen Levine. This is Tom Vandervoort heading to Michigan. That's what you got to do. If you're from Michigan, have you ever asked so, somebody from Michigan where they're from and they always do? That's really clever and all, but are we going to talk about how Dale Jr. is going to win the race? Oh, no, he won the spring race. Well, look, look, we're going back to Michigan, and Jr. didn't just win the spring race. He won it in very convincing fashion. He led, I think, 90 laps out of 200. He was very fast all day. Now, we do go back with a slightly different tire because they had to make a late tire change. That was another thing about Junior's win, that his team was able to adjust to that late change and run quickly. But I think when you look at this racetrack and you think about Chase, we're starting to get close, and, and we're not that many intermediate tracks away from being in the Chase. So I think this is an important race for teams looking to do well in the Chase because that is half intermediate tracks. Absolutely. Of course, the other thing that comes with intermediate tracks is the vagaries of fuel mileage, and you certainly could see and have seen Michigan come down to fuel mileage. As a matter of fact, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s very first win at Michigan was due to fuel mileage. So that's another thing to just look out for, and is that a way that one of these wild card guys could try to steal a win? I think if you're Joey Logano, or your Marcus Ambrose, you've got to be thinking fuel mileage. I mean, one thing Ambrose has in his favor is he is racing a Ford. This has always been a good track for Fords. He did start on the pole for the for the race earlier this year in Michigan. So it's not crazy that he could be in the mix. It's obviously still a long shot, but if you break it down, you got to think about the Roush Fenway Fords. And even can, though Hendrick Motorsports hasn't been good here over the year, I think you got to think can about we stop, the Hendrick though, Motorsports. Can we stop saying this is a Ford track? You, you can Ford if you want to. They haven't won here won in a while. since 2008 when true. Carl Edwards did it. Matt Kenseth hasn't won here since 2006. Greg Biffle hasn't won here since 2005. Yeah, there's it, a lot of guys. It Denny was Hamlin. a Ford track. Yeah. I'm not so sure that it is still a Roush Fenway Ford track. I think those guys are going to be strong. Yeah. I do think they're going to be strong. Maybe. I mean, I, wouldn't, I certainly would expect Biffle and, frankly, and Kenseth to be strong. And frankly, if they're not strong... It's a big rut row for the chase. Rut row. Yes, exactly like that. Rut row. So who you got? Well, the guy who won this race last fall, this very race last year, and I know it was a different track back then. Very different. But the guy who won was Kyle Busch. He had an engine blow earlier this year at the Michigan race. Remember, he had, like, engine problems three races in a row. This was then. He got, he's pissed off because he had basically a win stolen from him at Watkins Glen last week. I'm looking out for Kyle Busch. I mean, this is a guy who is on the verge of being eliminated from the chase. He needs to solidify his place in the chase. I think Kyle Busch is going to come away with a victory. If this isn't the race where you pick Dale Earnhardt Jr. and pander to the junior nation, I don't know what is. Well, I'm knew, going with Dale Earnhardt I Jr. I knew that, so I didn't. Well, I'm going to do it. Dale Earnhardt Jr. I, I think the tire's similar enough. The race is close enough to, to, in terms of time. There hasn't been a lot of change, not enough time for a lot of evolution. Yes, the track will have aged a little bit. It'll be interesting to see how the groove widens out if it does at all. I like Junior. like the 88 car. I think they were good enough and will be good enough to win. Well, both our picks have eights in them, so what does that tell you? It says we ate too much. That's Tom. I'm Stephen. Thanks for watching.